you can place doors in Revit architecture. Doing so is very simple. Doors are hosted in walls, so therefore we must have walls in our building model to begin placing them. You place doors in Revit architecture from the Home ribbon bar on the Build panel by using the Door tool. You can place doors in Plan, Elevation, or 3D Views. To place a door, activate the Door tool. The Options bar will populate with available options specific to placing doors. The Create Door Contextual ribbon becomes active and the current door type to be placed is listed on the Properties palette. You can change the type of door from those loaded in the project by clicking on the Types list. Let's examine the Modify Place Door ribbon. To find more doors, you would click on the Mode panel, Load Family button. When placing a door, it can be tagged or not during creation. The Tag panel, Tag on Placement tool, is a toggle that has a darker color background when it is enabled. Moving down to the Options bar, you can see that the tags can be placed either horizontal or vertical. So if your standard is to have them parallel to the door leaf, you may change this as desired for different doors upon their placement. If desired, you may enable a leader for the tag and specify its length. I will leave these as they are. In the Properties palette, you may specify the sill height to raise or lower the door in relation to the current associated level. There are also parameters for changing the frame data, the material of the door, and other parameters that will be useful for scheduling. Move your mouse into the drawing area, and the cursor changes to a not available symbol until the cursor is directly over a wall. Doors are hosted components. Again, they can only be placed in walls. From the type selector, choose the single flush 34 inch by 80 inch or in the metric file M single flush 864 by 2032. Pick on any wall and a door will be placed. You can flip the swing or the hinge side by clicking on the flip controls. Notice the mark value in the properties palette is the same as the door tag value. The door command, like all commands, is still active, so we may place another door, hover over the exterior stair tower north wall at the top of the screen. When placing a door, the swing side of the door is determined by the side of the wall that your cursor is touching when you pick. You may toggle the hinge side by using the space bar before picking. And move your cursor over the opposite face of the wall to change the swing direction. You can attempt to place a door accurately and if it is to be in the center of this wall, this is a very easy thing to do. You may drag your cursor over the wall face until the midpoint snap is visible and pick. You may also type SM to enable the explicit snap midpoint tool. You can keep your eye out on the temporary dimensions and when the values are equal you can also pick. Or, like we did for the first door we placed, you may place the door quickly and then specify its location accurately. Select the stair tower door and then edit its temporary dimensions to align as desired. Allow me to explain. You change where the temporary dimension is measuring to by zooming in slightly and toggling the witness line location by clicking on the small grip. You may also drag temporary dimension witness lines to a different element face or edge to accurately locate the door. I will ensure that 
it is measuring to the outside corner of the exterior wall and I may also toggle the door temporary dimension to measure from the opening width rather than the center. Type a distance of two feet from the east corner to the door hinge. After you've changed the dimension, you may simply pick in the drawing area to deselect the door.